Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is a really cool 3D effect that somebody, I did this, but I helped him do it, and he kind of turned me on. He sent me this pattern, but he was saying, is there a quicker way, because you cannot contour this. I don't care what you do, the contour tool just will not work, even though it's grouped together. If we go to effects and contour, it's just not gonna work. It comes out like that, which wouldn't be half bad in itself. But you need to contour it individually, individual pieces with the paint fill. And there's 72 times, there's 720 of them that you'd have to do this to. So he was asking if there was a quicker way to do it. And first of all, I know it's five degree increments, he told me, but this line is top dead center. It'd be a lot easier to have one of the columns top dead center. So we're gonna rotate it 2.5 degrees. Now our column is type top dead center. And we're in the center of the page. That's a big deal on this one. So we're gonna fill in with the smart fill tool, that one, and nudge it over. And I'm gonna try not to talk too much while I'm doing this so I won't miss one. I don't really know that it would hurt you. And we're gonna call that good. Now what's so neat about the center of the page, we can nudge that over and we can nudge this to the center of the page. It's exactly back where it was. Let's left click, right click, and go up to object and group them together and watch what happens to our contour. It lights up, it's ready to go. Look at that. Now, and you almost have to do that before you do it. Now I'm gonna bring in an indexing line. I've already got one that way. I'm gonna have one this way because we need to rotate it. And it's a little bit tricky because of the fact that it's a 3D effect already, but we're gonna to go to Windows, Dockers, Transformation, and you can see I've already ready uh, five degrees, 71. It's actually 72, but we've already got one. The hardest thing with this 3D is getting it to rotate from that center. Because a lot of times, and it's doing it again, you have to be, for some reason, that 3D, and I've tried it both ways. I'm gonna say that's the center, I'm gonna hit apply. It's gonna take just a second because of the fact that it's so much information for Corel to do. Uh, and if I was in the center, it came out right. And it's perfect. That's gonna be pretty cool. And just for, I've already sent him this file, was, and then I showed him, I told him I'd do the video. Then you could do something with the center of this. And hopefully the paint field will move in. I'm gonna nudge it over. I'm gonna left click. I'm gonna right click a light gray and this time I'm gonna contour the opposite direction. Go to effects, contour. Now I'm gonna to contour to a black. Look at that. Now it didn't make it all, so let's make it like 400 steps. It will only go so far because it's 0 0.101. And then you have to click off of it and I actually hit the paint fill and I've, it's trying to, Corel's trying to paint fill everything. Sorry about that. But anyway, you can nudge this over, then convert it all to a bitmap, and it will be a pretty cool design. So I, this is, there's no way to stop it. Well, back it up. It doesn't take just a second to undo it. And then grab that and move it over. That's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, it'll look really good. I can't wait to take it out to the shop. Now, as always, I would select it all and convert it to a bitmap. It makes it so much better when you run it on the laser. I don't know what it does, but it fuzzies it up and it also puts it all together. That is gonna be a pretty cool 3D design. Anyway, I hope it helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.